I'd like to share two ways that you can pass out or share a HyperDoc that is created on slides for more efficiency. Now, <clears throat> sometimes I like the kids to see the slides on the side and they can progress through their assignment. There's the explore, there's the explain, there's the apply, and so on and so forth. And I like them to see it. They often tell me it's like a deck of cards that they can work through, skip around, and get back to. And it's very visual for them. But there are other times I really like it to launch in presenter mode. And so here is the trick. If you go up into the URL post bar up at the top, the Omni bar, and you'll notice the word edit at the top. It's at the very end, slash edit. So I will highlight the very end, slash edit, and delete it. And in that place of it, I will type in preview. I will push enter, and it automatically puts my slides into preview mode. Now all I have to do is share that link that says preview instead of edit with my students. So I'll copy that, and I'll either post that in Google Classroom, or I'll put it on their agenda or, or somewhere where I could share the link with them. Um, often I'm dropping it in Zoom uh, chats for them in this mode, and they can still go through this and be able to load um, the pieces of the lesson. Um, I like it because videos play really easily um, this way um, and, and can stop. And as you can see, um, my animations still show up in this method. Now, one other way um, I really want to show you, um, if you want every student to have their own copy of this, um, you don't want to use Google Classroom. You can, in, instead of preview, instead of edit, you will type template slash preview. And that puts it into this different kind of mode where if you want students to use this, they can visually see it themselves right here as they go through. It still plays it just the same so they can preview it, but they can also click on it and then they all have their own copy. Now, when you do that, it opens up. Uh, it is a new copy um, saved to the drive. It is your personal copy. So you can see the share settings are locked when it first opens. And they're back to seeing all of the items on the side. So depending on what your goals are for this, um, it's a variety of ways to do it. One last um, trick to mention that if I am in edit mode, again, review, and I want to share in preview mode, sometimes I will teach my students that, do you want to get out of preview mode? All you have to do to get out of preview mode is go up, delete that term preview, and put edit back in there so you can see it. It does not change the share settings, so if it was locked before, it will still be view only.